you guys three massive bags of guilt hey everybody it's bunny welcome to vlogween day two where is the camera pointed now you can see the general disarray in my closet basically i like to clarify every year that we are going to be doing videos every single day but not every video is going to be just a halloween dedicated video maybe uh some of you guys will get sick of that really quickly and i know not everyone who's a swamp family member celebrates halloween so that just basically means i'm going to be creating new content for you guys every single day but there probably will be uh mostly halloween content so that that might clear any questions up. Today, we are gonna do an amazing, good old fashioned Ulta hurl. I actually went shopping at Ulta with Leanne last night when we hung out. I asked her right before we ate dinner if she would run over to Ulta with me because I needed one hair dryer. I needed one hair dryer that you guys have been requesting me to test out for does this thing really work? And then I uh, I grabbed a cart and I just, I just started, um. I, I, then I walked out with this. You guys know I'm a hair dryer addict. I went in for one hair dryer specifically to test out. I came out with three hair dryers. I need help. The hair dryer and the item that started this Ulta hurl, uh, I think, I don't know, this might be my next does this thing really work. I'm kind of torn. You guys, we might do more than one does this thing really work a week this month because I do feel like I have so many items to test out that are not Halloween and also that are Halloween. I went there to get this uh, Revlon Salon 360 Surround Styler. It, this is just a haul today, so I'm not even going to take it out of the box, but it's like a hair dryer with an opening. It's so crazy. They had a display one out. We definitely turned it on last night. It was very exciting. Should I show you guys the other two hair dryers? This one might be a video as well. It's another Revlon dryer. Props to Revlon for coming out with the freakish hair dryers. This is a hair dryer brush but it's so weird i don't even know if you guys can see from the pictures it's like a flat hair dryer with bristles it's very different than the hair straightening brush that we tried one or two years ago for does this thing really work or first impression friday i don't remember which one it was once again they had it as a display so strange so strange uh leave a comment down below if you guys would like for me to do a video on this one as well then the last hair dryer was solely for my enjoyment purposes. I don't know if I've ever seen another hair dryer as sophisticated as this one. It is called Croc Ice and there are alligators on the box. So uh, I had to swoop in and pick it up. But look at this. It's insane with the settings. Is this your first video here? If so, hello, welcome to my life, welcome to my channel. Uh, but I'm addicted to hair dryers, okay? I literally, like if I'm editing a video, I have a hair dryer going on. If I'm eating food, I have a hair dryer going on. It's soothing to me, I love everything about it. I think I have a whole video on uh, my hair dryer addiction. Love it when hair dryers have all the bells and whistles, you have all the choices of the fan, uh, like, like how much air is blasting at you, exactly how hot it is. I want all the control, okay? Uh, and that is exactly what this one has. There's literally like high and low, varying degrees of temperature. It's so crazy uh, because sometimes I have the dryer on just for uh, like comfort, not necessarily for warmth, but just like the feeling of air circulating. Oh, we have one more thing in this box. I got a new perfume uh, just because I liked the bottle. Is that normal? Is that okay? We did spray the scent. It seemed to be delightful, but I will admit I kind of bought this on a whim. Oh my god, the box is fuzzy. I'll bring it closer to you in just a second so you can further inspect with your pupils. I will admit I bought this with kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping it or not. I wanted to test it out. I thought it was cool enough 
to bring home. Sometimes I can try a scent in a store. I will love it. I will wear it for a day, but then I'll try it again. And for some reason I'll feel like it's like, oh, like doing weird things to my allergies. I don't, am I going to keep this? I don't know. Uh, so long winded with my stories today. The box is a fizzy and it is a Carolina Herrera. Good girl. Uh, what an odd name for a fragrance, right? It is like a shoe. It's not like a shoe. It's a shoe. My fragrance is in a shoe. Are you liking this? I'm loving this. I do feel like this is kind of one of those things where you would want to set it in your bathroom, maybe on your nightstand, as just like a nice little vanity display. Do you have to like the fragrance? I, that's sensible for perfumes. So you push the back of the heel right here. That's where the button is. And then like, oh, you got yourself some fragrance. It's it smells good. It almost smells kind of like grapey to me. I think I'm gonna like it. It's one of those like floral, <laughs> floral yet fruity smells. And it sort of irritates me why fragrances never print on the box. Like, why don't you tell me what's in here? Like, what, what does it smell like? Why do I have to smell it and like try and figure it out? I don't know. Oh, it's my new black milk dress. You guys, the Halloween collection was amazing this year. I mean, it is amazing. I think you can still buy it. This was actually just sitting in the backseat of my car because I picked up the mail and then I opened it. But it is a velvet raven covered maxi dress. It's gorgeous. I'm sure you're gonna see it again. Oh my gosh, you guys, so many samples in here. Uh, they gave me many, many, many samples. Oh, we found the receipt. Ha <laughs> ha, confetti. Sample, 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 mm, sample, sample. Not a sample. This is an IT Cosmetics brush, and I do get PR from them all the time. Their brushes are some of my absolute favorite, especially the Heavenly range, which uh, this is not a Heavenly brush, but I have never had an IT brush that I do not like, and I did not have this one before, and I am in desperate need of powder brushes. Currently, I've got a lot of eye brushes, not a lot of powder brushes, and the example, or sample, what what display is that the word I'm looking for the display of this brush was absolutely gorgeous it is a massive airbrush is what it's called I'm not gonna touch it that would just be foolish because then I'm gonna have to wash it before I can use it on my face but this is called the airbrush mega powder number 127 uh, but it is just massive and I feel like the bristles are like so nice and spread out which tends to give you that really nice airbrush look. I love it when brushes are not as dense. I feel like I get better application with them that way unless of course I'm applying a cream or a foundation then it makes sense to have the brush more dense but for powder domes uh, I'm all oh my god I just smashed down the bristles. Pretend I didn't do that. Next we got a sponge that I have really been wanting to try. This is the Real Techniques Prep Miracle Cleansing Sponge. I'm not sure if this is basically like a konjac, cognac sponge. Gently exfoliates away dirt, oil, and makeup for a smooth complexion. You're supposed to wet it and use it with your favorite cleanser. I just saw it and I wanted to try it, so I did. I got some more sponges from them that I also just was very intrigued by the shape of. These are the Real Techniques for Miracle Contour Wedges. So these are literally meant just for contouring the face. I love sponges. Let's look at some more hair things. I finally got some of these. Have you guys seen these? I feel like in the 90s these were marketed to us as jewelry, like bracelets. They were like, oh, uh, don't you want to wear a telephone cord? Which is probably such a weird concept to a lot of people, I'm imagining, uh, to even think. It's a weird concept for me, is basically what I'm saying, to even think about a, a corded phone anymore. I'm gonna be honest, these are definitely hair ties, but I kind of more or less got them to uh, wear them on my wrist. It's a fashion accessory, you guys. 
I'm loving it. Next, we have another hair item that I thought would be perfect for my absolutely lazy life. This is a kitsch bun pin. It's like a little tiara that is acceptable to wear at all times. It's just a like comb so you put your hair up in a massive sassy bun and then you tuck this little puppy in there and it suddenly looks like you tried maybe 20 percent harder that day yet more hair things to show you guys batiste recently came out with a massive can of dry shampoo so this is a regular can of batiste and batiste I forgot that extra T. It is a teast. This is a normal size can and this is a massive can. They had a couple of different scents in this mega can size, but unfortunately they did not have my favorite, which is in the leopard can. It's called Sassy and Daring. I don't know if they don't make that in a mega size or if they just didn't have that at my Ulta. So this one is 400 milliliters and this one is 200 milliliters. The small one is $7.99 and the big one is $13.99. So uh, it's basically like you're saving, what, a dollar to buy the big can. I also got this regular size can of Batiste in a new fragrance that we just saw for the first time last night, Leanne and I. It's called Sweet and Delicious Sweetie Scent. I didn't even like test spray it in the store. It uh, might smell like cat butt, but I loved the can. It's got these cute little, what are these things called? Nesting dolls? It was just adorable to me. Uh, and I don't know why I'm like pointing like this. Who points like that? Proof that I'm an alien. Oh! It definitely smells like teen spirit. It's a very a youthful odor. I will give it that. I like it. I definitely am gonna use it. I need dry shampoo, okay? Uh, it really could smell like cat butt and I would still just use it out of desperation. Not a day goes by that I don't need dry shampoo, okay? Because even if my hair isn't dirty, which is rare, it needs volume. Let's move on in to skincare kind of stuff. This is by the brand Nuni, which I'm not sure if that's made by Meme Box or if it's just Meme Box that carries it. I was really surprised pleasantly to see a lot of Meme Box items in Ulta, they had like a whole rounder. It was wild, it was cool. This is, I. Uh, it's called a Marshmallow Whip maker. It was very inexpensive. It was only $6. Supposedly with this device, you go like this and it will turn any cleanser into a rich foam. I don't know you guys. I'm going to try it with my Murad tonight. I love foam everything. So I'm really curious to see. It does say it works with all uh, cleansers. So all means all. We're going to test it out and see if we have positive results. I'll let you know tomorrow. I also got two of these really cool ampule masks from Tony Moly. And um, I hate medical stuff, but for some reason, like I was just drawn to these. I think the packaging is just really unique. Uh, these were $6 a piece and I'm very anxious to try them out. So this one is a bright shot. It's supposed to help with skin brightening and then this one is a lift shot So I think that this is just going to help with overall like skin Tightening firming all kinds of that good stuff. Also, I got my trustworthy life staple Murad I'm almost out. I was very surprised to see that they repackaged how you buy the cleanser This is the same exact cleanser that I have always used forever and ever for probably the last I don't even know, more more than 10 years definitely. The packaging is different. I think it's great because I feel like the integrity of the product is better preserved when you put the tube in the box. I just feel like under all the store lighting, and I have seen this at Sephora before, you will see the product sort of like change color on the shelves. So I would always try and grab my cleanser like furthest back. I feel like the effectiveness of the product repetitiously being exposed to light was kind of making it transform in some way. I might just uh, be sounding crazy and utterly paranoid. Either way, uh, there must be some reason why they put it in a box now, right? And I, I approve. Up next to more skincare, actually many more skincare kind of things. 
we have uh two clarisonic cleanser heads one is one i've talked to you guys about forever this is like my 20th time repurchasing this this is the uh cashmere cleanse luxe facial brush head so it's just a much softer i don't really think there's any exfoliative properties to this brush head it definitely does make your cleanser foam up more i feel like i'm getting a more effective cleanse a more effective clean and then the other thing i got is brand new it is a firming massage head and i'm actually going to open this because they did not have a display out even i just saw it and i was like whoa this is new and very intriguing this is like a facial massager that works with your Clarisonic. And you guys, I definitely think I'm gonna be taking this one back because I just opened it and it's um, like dirty. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but look at that. Do you guys see that? There's like um, dirt and McGirt all over this what's going on it's really odd though because this doesn't look dirty it's gonna be very interesting to test this out when i get a new one because you know does it pulsate i don't like uh, is it is it gonna be painful i wouldn't think it would be painful but you never know until you try more skincare uh more tony moly these products get me every time with the packaging they are adorable so this is the strawberry latte scrub it is a cream scrub and it looks like a nice little strawberry coffee and um it comes with this little scraper spatula thing on the top for you to be able to scoop out the products Wow, it smells so pleasant. Color changing cream that takes care of massage and keratin removal simultaneously. I want to know what color changing means. You would think that that would be like a very obvious statement, but I want to know what color it, you know what, we're going to just scoop it out right now and uh, do a little sample on my hand. Normally I think it's a bit crazy when I do swatches of skincare, but for once this might actually make some sense to do. Oh, it's very like thick. I don't want to say it's sticky. Um, but you know what? It kind of is a little bit tacky. I don't know if they mean it just goes from like pink to clear. This massage type scrub with vitamin C rich strawberry and milk extract makes skin look clear and bright as it removes dead skin cells and impurities from the skin. So it does say it has a warming sensation. You're supposed to rub it in and I don't, I still don't know what color changing means because as I was rubbing it in on my hand, it was only turning clear. So I don't know if that is what they mean like you apply it and it sort of has like a pink color to it and then it becomes clear i don't know but we're gonna give it a try i will just say it is extremely strawberry scented just from rubbing that little bit on my hands now like honestly this entire closet reeks of strawberries i'm okay with it i'm only gonna like whoo dart this in front of your eyes because Leanne and I are planning on filming this video together hopefully this week because she got the entire set and I got the entire set and neither of us have tried dip nails so we are gonna try it it was right next to the gel polish we got kind of the entire system to attempt dip nails I got this forever fearless fuchsia shade and I'm very excited to try it and it's been a hot minute since we filmed a video together, so that will be fun. Uh, last couple of things. I have a couple of like fragrance things, one being the Senorita Margarita body wash from Philosophy. This used to be a life staple of mine. Like 10 years ago, I discovered it. I loved it. It smells so amazing it just has like an intense lime smell and it kind of does honestly smell exactly like a margarita but it just i love it i thought that this was called like happy hardcore like the like the trance dance what is it what is it qualified as but it is called hardcore happy and it's a nice little roller ball i love these guys because i just chunk them in the bottom of my bag and anytime i'm running errands and sweating 
I almost said sweating like a goose. That's not a phrase. It's just so convenient and wonderful to have little perfume roller bottles that you like in the bottom of your bag to reapply, you know. Uh, so this smells like vanilla, tuberose, coconut, and quartz. I was utterly unaware that quartz has a fragrance to it. Is that not a rock? Last but certainly not least, I got a mini eyeshadow palette from Physicians Formula. I do not know what this collection is. The whole packaging right now for the new Physicians Formula collection looks gorgeous. I love it. Like I'm genuinely excited about this. I feel like sometimes that's why traditionally I'm not as drawn to drugstore products is normally I always find the packaging lacking. But this is amazing. I feel like more and more drugstore brands are stepping it up um, with the packaging. This is called Smoky Plums. Wow, this is like actually a 10 too. It's not just plastic. That is so cool. Like it feels like a naked palette. Absolutely gorgeous. You guys know that I love purples and these smoky brown chocolate taupey kind of colors. Ooh, that was like a baby burp. Um, so very, very excited to do a little look with this one uh, or also, you know, just mix it in with other palettes. Either way, very excited for it. So I feel like that was a massive haul and I know that I've been saying this about a lot of my videos lately but I do miss doing hauls. I know we did like a thrift haul video last month uh, and now we are back at it with the Ulta haul. Maybe we'll have a Sephora haul next or something else. I don't know but I, I'm, I'm gonna start doing hauls again more regularly. I'm excited for that. Thank you guys so so much for being here today for day two of Vlogoween. So far so good. Don't forget to hit the button down below, subscribe in case you're not already, get an alligator, it's wings. Okay, there's a lot of needy alligators out there. They need their wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every day during the month of October to celebrate Vlogoween with me for 31 days. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!